Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Lispit. This is episode 3 of my Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out uh, Let's Play series. I don't know. I haven't gotten the rhythm for the intro for this one done yet. Um, so, we've got our bathroom up and running exactly how we need it to be. Um, now what? Well, um, food's a bit of an issue, but actually more importantly is probably power. Um, so what we're doing here is building up this rock crusher. Um, and what this rock crusher will allow us to do is refine all of this copper ore that is laying around the map into, well, copper. Um, and then we can use that to make, ooh, where are they? The batteries. These smart batteries here. And I'll show you what these smart batteries are really good for. I mean, if you played this game already, you know. But for those of you who haven't, well, you're about to learn. And we've got a few little sweet eggs around here. This is why we wanted to release the sweetles. When they're all locked up in the room, they won't lay an egg to replace themselves. Um, so it's good that... Ah, excellent. Mima's getting up here. And freeing the sweetles. <laughs> See, there's three in here, but they've only laid four in here, and they've only laid one egg. Oh, there's more up here. Alright, so we're going to have to put a ladder in up to there, I think. Something like that. How much more of the map can we see? Eh, a little bit. Alright, I'm going to leave them go at it, and hopefully this here will get done nice and quickly. Um, anyway, I've been doing some counting. Um, I've got a... Well, in my last short series, I built up a um, farm to grow the spindly grub fruit, and I never got to get it going because obviously this... DLC came out as an like an official release, so uh, I'd kind of like to you know see if it works. They are harvesting all those plants. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. Uh oh, Abe, you're gonna eat, right? You are gonna eat, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, we're fine. Alright, I'm very glad to see- Alright, here we go, we've got it. So, um, oh, we've also got Wolframite. Oh, that's from the cold biome. Um, that's the metal that's found over here, see there's a bit up here. Alright, copper to copper ore. Now, this is a very, very inefficient machine. There's three... Three ways. We'll just leave it at three. The fourth way is that you can melt it with the magma, but, uh, I don't think I've seen anyone do that efficiently. No, don't get ideas. That's a bad idea. Alright, so this will turn 100 kilograms of copper ore, the stuff over here, into 50 kilograms of refined copper and 50 kilograms of sand. Um, so we lose half of the mass. The next step up from there, do we have one? No, we don't have it yet. The next step up from there is the metal refinery. That one there, this one here. Um, it produces an awful lot of heat, but it gives you a one-to-one -one conversion from copper ore to copper. The third way, actually, is to use hatches. Um, they will, well, um, they transform into a smooth hatch, if we have a look here. Um, can we scroll down until we get to there? Uh-oh, oh man. Um, smooth hatch these things and they eat 100 kilograms and turn it into 75 kilograms so they're better than this but the more important thing is that they're free they don't take any um power to do they don't produce any heat none of that sort of stuff um i've never done it this way uh merely because i'm kind of not interested in it <laughs> um but that's a bit of whatever um, we can actually deconstruct those now. Um, so, whoops, we need to build, well, uh, we need 300 kilograms of refined metal for the battery. Sorry, 200 kilograms. Um, so that's four iterations or operations of the machine. And then we need uh, a bit extra, I suppose. So let's do... Well, let's just do 50 so we've got some extra laying around. 
Um, and then we can get our oh, building's tile and probably these ladders. Yep. Very good. What is that? Is that sand? That will turn to glass. Uh, possibly. Alright, research complete. What did we get? Ah, the atom sensor. Very good. And some gas stuff. Even better. Um, now to research. Well, I want... Uh, I need an AND gate, probably. Actually, I want these. And then I need this down here. Alright. So hopefully someone will come along and produce us a bunch of copper so then we can start doing our power setup down here. Now where exactly do I want to do power? Just a second, I've got to think about this. I think right down here in the corner will be the best spot. Um, I was going to put it here, but I think that's a bad idea. It's probably better to put it off to one side. I can run my um, power spine up the side, and I'll talk about that in a second. But essentially, we're running our power on... Well, this, this plain old ordinary wire for the now. Um, it's great, but it can only carry 1,000 watts at a time. So, and we've got enough machines on it now that potentially it will go up to nearly 2,000 watts. Um, now, I could produce a bunch of metal and just replace all of that with, well, I haven't unlocked it yet. Um, but the more advanced uh, power wire, which takes up to 2,000 watts, where is it? Um, it is... oh man. This screen has just gotten more and more complicated, and I never know where anything is anymore. Here. Uh, this conductive wire here. But, like, that'll only get us so far. The better thing to do is to run this heavy watt wire which can take 20 kilowatts so that's 20,000 watts um, along one side and then you run power transformers off it um, kind of similar to what we do in real life but mafic rock oh that's from up here yes 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 okay that makes sense um, now, the best thing to do here, I think, would be to not make these out of sandstone and instead make them out of, well, probably mafic rock. Oh, there is a bit of sandstone there. Igneous rocks here as well. And mafic rock. So let's not make that out of all of that and instead make this out of mafic because it's right there. Um... And we can probably actually make this one out of sandstone. Because there's a bunch of sandstone here. There's a bit of igneous rock. Yep, that's probably the best way to go about it. Um, and I'm actually going to encourage them to free these sweetles first. Because the more sweetles we have hanging out and about, the better. Do we want that to be sandstone? Um... Probably. There's a bunch of sandstone up here, that's okay. Um, so, power. Well, we're going to use coal generators for a little while. Um, and there's a bunch of coal down here, which is really good. Let's get the... Uh, we're researching the insulated tiles. Yes, let's get them done. Then I can insulate the roof of this at least a little bit. And then we'll see what we can do. Now, my contraption from last season of the um, Sweetle farm and the grub fruit farm is 32 tiles wide and 17 tiles tall. And it also grows bristle blossoms. Um, I might mm -mm, shrink that down a little bit. Um, put the bristle blossoms elsewhere. And make it, well then I suppose it'll be 12 times 2 is 24, 25 tiles wide. Um, but we will see, it will fit in here, so that's 17 tiles from there to there. Because um, this neutronium pokes up right here, which is annoying, but what can you do? 
um, and it'll fit in here just fine. But it might be better to, because I'm going to run the sleet wheat here-ish, um, because sleet wheat likes to be cold, and I can use these essentially for free. That happens sometimes. I suppose we don't have to dig that up. There we go. Yep, they can get down there. Very good. Very, very good. Ah, uh, yeah, that happens occasionally. And that new trapped um, alert, oh, that makes such a difference. Okay, researching. I need these down here, some automation stuff. And we have insulated tiles. Very nice. Uh, now these take 400 kilograms each, whereas regular tiles only take a hundred, uh, 200. So they do take a fair bit of, you know, junk to make. But that's all good. Now, uh, we probably want to insulate this down here. So that's the edge of the biome there and there. We're going to have to figure this out carefully. Uh-oh, I can't see where that ends. Um, I think it's across there. You can kind of tell by what colour everything is. See, this is kind of orangey-yellow and this is blue. Um, how are we doing up here? Oh, that's cold. I might leave this open up here, because what that will allow is for this to passively cool. That looks good to me, yeah, and these are all not growing anymore, so we're probably better off just deconstructing them. Uh, I selected that on... That's the cancel. I selected that on buildings because it will remove these tiles over the top without removing your power wires and stuff underneath. So if you're deconstructing stuff, just be careful that there's nothing hiding underneath um, that it might accidentally destroy. Yay! Congratulations, everyone. Um, and we really need to do something about this hydrogen as well. Um, now, I've got two options. One is to just burn off all of the excess, and the other, which I think is a much better idea, is um, just store it. Um, but we need, let's see, what have we got here? We don't have the stuff we need to store stuff yet. Um, I don't even have the doors, which is okay. Where did all that water come from? Where did all that water come from? Hmm, who knows? I'll place that one there. Um, we are also going to send someone to the other planet. Which one? That's the transmitter, so that's the one we want there. Um, I, I need to move the beds also. Alright, let's do a quick bit of planning here. We don't need this yet. Turner doesn't have a hat. What do we give Abe over here? Construction. Pro actually, improved carrying. There we go. Um, is no one going to do this? Ruby, what are you... Oh, yeah. Um, can someone else do the power? Fabricate at the rock crusher. Very good. That's what we need. Look at that. Getting in there. Alright. Um, so let's start preparing for... Well, the power. So that's going to go like that. Um, we can dig up this, and we can probably dig up... I want to squish all this water over. Let's cancel all those for now. 
We're going to squish all this water over. Uh-oh. Mima, you can dig that. Oh, uh, the hat should be okay. Oh, and a printable. Right, let's see what we've... Where is all this water coming from? Is it ice? Or is it this stuff off-gassing into regular water? Possibly. Alright, what have we got? Oh, Harold. Oh. Alright, Harold, guess what? Um, now the thing we're doing here is going to be really, really mean, and we're going to deconstruct that, we're going to dig that one up, we're going to dig that one up, and we're going to send Harold. Um, Harold's got his little hat. Alright. Uh, now let's check out the schedule. Yes, Harold's up here, so we actually need to, well... Uh-oh. See, look, we've uh, busted the power line a little bit because we're using too much power. But that's all good. Alright, you ready? We're sending Harold off. Alright, fingers crossed. Let's go. Awkward. Alright, this is the second planet. We are kind of near the top. You can see that's the other asteroid down here. Don't don't ask about that. All right. All right, little buddy. You're all over here on your own. And in fact, you have a friend. We're going to open this first and this one. And then we're going to defrost the friend. Uh, oh, I was about to say what happened there. All right. Defrost your friend. It's a May. Nice. Hello, May. Alright, let's let them celebrate. Nice. Okay, very good. Um, now we need to do all the basic stuff again. There's water down here. There's a lot of water up here, too. Alright. Alright, this is pretty nice, actually. That's a desolate biome. We've got Drekos, which are very, very important. They will provide us with stuff to make um, Atmo suits. All right, what am I going to do here? Let's just get some digging done so that we've got some sandstone and stuff. Okay. We're going to cancel that one there. Righto. So, first off, we need a bathroom. Um, and we have all of this done, which is very good as well. Let's see. Oh, wait. Do those have... Hmm. Very interesting. All right, plumbing outhouse. Now I'm going to do it properly this time. We need one, two, three, sink, or wash basin, I suppose. And we need a tile right there. We can open this. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to ladder down to there. Oh. We should also write Harold and May. Let's put them right down the bottom here because we're going to be taking quite a few duplicates here. We also need to build a mini pod. Where are we going to put it? Right there? I'd much prefer to put it kind of there in the middle. Um... 
we'll come back to it. I suppose we can send duplicants off doing other stuff. Um, I've left this sand here so that if they, well, when they invariably wet themselves, because um, it's going to take a little bit to get down to the water here. Um, that'll just stop the water from, you know, getting contaminated. Okay. Let's slow everything down, because we're going to be really, really busy now. <laughs> Should probably just put... Let's put this on a sweep only. We're going to have to start sweeping up pretty soon. I don't think there's any ice up in here, that's okay. Alright, now we get to start pushing this water over here. It'll take a little while, but that's all good. All these Sweetles are out and happy, there's a baby one. And I guarantee you the Sulphur Geyser- yep, there it is. Oh, and there's our little chute here. So what we have to wait for is this to cool down to below 1400 degrees, which will happen a lot quicker than you think it will. Um, but then we'll be able to dig up to the surface through here. Can they not reach that? Ah, uh, they'll get around to it. And we have a, well, as you can see, all our carbon dioxide is settling down here in the bottom of the base. Which is very good. Um, we should probably also start ranching hatches. Um, because that will give us... <gasps> of course, May has skills. Alright, let's come back to Pastorano. Check out duplicate skills. May likes rocket piloting. And nothing else. We're gonna leave nails for now. You can have improved carrying one and two. And that'll do it for now. Let's give you a little hat to go with it. And these both need to be left. Now, do we have no dirt for real? We have no dirt. Let's do something about that. Let's also not put the ladder there. I want to put it a little bit over because this wall's right here. And that actually needs to go out. Oh, it's not symmetrical. Boo. Well. We'll leave two tiles here, then a wall... Two tiles, wall, ladder. That looks better. Actually, plan things out a bit nicer, you know? Um, that means we get to dig up all of this. Yes, that's the stuff. Who's trapped? Again. That's really good though. Alright, we need to get up here because that's extra food. And there's some more Sweetles. So let's just keep digging this up here. And then we can just dig a two wide like that. Um, it also means we can dig a too wide in there and enable harvest on all of these oh my goodness why is there so much water everywhere we can deconstruct that now all right we will get all this water forced over now, what I can do here is actually just destroy this bit of polluted water. If I put a tile there, and then a second tile below it, at a lower priority, they'll build this top tile, and that'll seal this in here. 
when I build a tile over the top, it'll be destroyed. Which is pretty nifty, if you ask me. Um, now, we do have an extra... We're missing one vent, I believe. Oh, no, all three of them are here. Oh, that is terrible. <sighs> have you ever seen a worse placement for vents? Like, two of these will be volcanoes. And in fact, let's find out... Which one's which. Um, I just neglected to give Abe the digging, didn't I? Oh, I'm such a fool. <laughs> it's alright. Um, rather than doing that, we can dig something like that. Yep, we can do something like that. Okay. Let's check them out over here. How are they going? So what are we going to do for food over here? Good question. Well... Let's see what biomes we have. This has got a lot of volcanoes on it. Sandstone, space, barren, jungle, and oily. Hmm. Not a hundred percent sure. We don't even um hmm. Yes, I know. Alright, that's the minor volcano. When you get into volcanoes, they come in a few different sizes. Um this is a minor volcano, so it is a four by three or three by four. Um this up here is the liquid sulfur geyser over here. This is too tall and four wide. Um, there are some, most of the metal volcanoes are either 3x3 three three or 4x4, four four, depending on which one it is. And then the steam vent, whenever we find it, will be too wide and four tall. Uh, it'll actually be centered. But all of them have one thing in common. Um, when you look at them with their little base like this, maybe we can use the sulfur geyser as an example. Yes, we can. When you look at them in their little box like this, sitting on their four wide neutronium, there is an exception to that, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, this tile here, so if we look at the 3x3 three three directly over this neutronium here. It is this central tile here that the volcano checks as to whether or not it's overpressured. Um, so it will operate if there's nothing in that tile or the... So if you dig that tile up, it'll start running. Don't, don't, don't dig that tile up until you're ready for it to go. Alright, I've got to go. We need to stack hay. Oh boy. Catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, they're all doing well here, I think. Let's put that on a priority eight so it's done. Um, this is running well. Bathrooms are running well. Yes! Just thought I'd double check that all. And we're still building this over here now. Uh, who was it? I've got to go find the thing now. Strex. Um, carbon dioxide, we'll deal with that when it becomes a problem. <laughs> um, no, but for real, I need to get power and food sorted first. Um, then we can start worrying about little things like carbon dioxide and all that. Um, more importantly, because what we can do is pump it over to the other planet if we don't have enough and just use it for, um, rockets. Um, because the first tier of rocket requires a CO2 engine. Um, so, how are we doing on our research? What am I actually researching? I've completely forgotten. I had to do quite a lot between now and then. Excellent. We're getting a bit more automation done. After that, we're going to go for these mechanic mechanized doors, perhaps. Although I don't really need them. Um, maybe we should get into materials. Oh, I want a fire pole. I definitely want a fire pole. That's what we're going to do. All right, some duplicants have some skills. Let's have a check and see. Yep, nails is fine. May also has one. 
Now we will need a mechatronics engineer on both planets. Let's make that May for that planet. And we need to do something about all the hydrogen up here. So, hmm, where would I put it if it was right there? I could squeeze it in here. That might be a really good idea, actually. So we will go for the mechanized airlocks next. And then... See where we get. Um, we're also going to have to seal this off and stop our base from getting so icy cold. Um, I do have a plan for when we're growing our food, but... That's for when we're growing our food. The other thing we're going to want to do is um, have a better kitchen than this. At the moment, we can only produce this sort of stuff. But now that we've got access to spindly grub fruit, we can actually make roasted grub nuts, I think it is. Uh, we get the grub fruit seed and produce a spindly grub fruit. Um, but that can be cooked into roasted... Where is it? Roast grub fruit nut. Um, and we can also produce with them. Um, what we're going to be making for this planet is mixed berry pie, which requires grub fruit, gristle berries, and, uh, sleet wheat. Is someone going to do this? They can't reach it. Yeah, that's fair. Um, we're also going to have to pump oxygen. Do we not have enough algae? Hmm. Alright, let's deal with this hydrogen up here. Um, so, just double check what we're actually researching here. Yes, we need these. These are mandatory. Alright. That's fine. And exploration's going just fine. We will need to keep going up here, as a matter of fact. There we go. Alright, they'll get around to that in time. Um, I suppose it's time for a bit of a time lapse now, isn't it? Let's check on the other planet. They've finished everything. Excellent. Just what you love to see. So, what are we going to do with these guys now? Um, we should definitely get them in here. Ooh. Well, I suppose farming Drekos is a big thing. We need to find a place for... Well, let's get them up here a bit and across this way. Um, we've got all of these plants up here, which is nice. We're going to need food for them. Oh my goodness, I completely forgot about this planet. <gasps> okay, well, now that uh, we've got the bathroom sorted out, we can remove that bit of sand. We're going to get them digging up here. That can all go. Um, we can dump this water down here pretty shortly, but we're going to need to ladder down to that. In fact, let's make that all uh might even take it out to here make that our water pit like that and then we can dump this water we can dump this water down there and that'll get us up here exploring all right that all seems good to me dig that up there um so food wise we have enough for now i say tentatively. Um, this is no good. Let's leave that there. We're going to, in fact, leave that as well. And we're going to put in, uh-oh, we have no metals. Well, let's make this a higher priority. And we're going to come up here and dig all of these metals up. And a bit more right here. We will also put in some tiles to tidy everything up. Like this. And this. Um, how does this go? Across and down to the door like that. So that can go across like that. Very good. Um, in fact, we want one more right there. Um, we're going to need a bedroom. Oh man, I should be writing this down. Yeah, I'll actually, I said I was going to do it last season, but I never ended up doing it. Um, sort out, in fact, let's cancel that, and let's cancel all of this. Why is that germy?
Why is that Jeremy? Uh oh, Harold's asleep. Alright, well we'll get them digging up there. That will allow us to have some metal so that we can... What did I even want the metal for? Airflow tiles. I want to block this wall here off so that water doesn't spill down here. Um, that's... Ooh. 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 That's refined iron. That's free refined metal. That's really good to see. That's really, really good to see. Um, now, I should probably start sorting out power properly down here. Let's have a look. Um, we do have enough for smart batteries now. So we're going to want coal generators down here, and we're going to have a couple of hydrogen generators too. Um, but the thing about coal is that they need to be provided with the coal, don't they? Um, so we're actually going to use shipping to do that automatically. Um, an auto sweeper is obviously, you know, it, get, it, it automatically sweeps stuff. That means it will move things from one container to another, and it will also interact with buildings, which is really, really nice. Um, but we have a bit of, you know, automation stuff to research before we get there. Um, so let's put those there so that we've got ourselves a nice little thing. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have an auto sweeper and they reach, they do have a limited range. Let's find somewhere nice and open. Oh, perfect. Their range is nine by nine centered around the middle of the thing. And if you rotate them, it doesn't change. It just lets them sit in areas a bit better. Now, they can... Um, their vision does get blocked by blocks, but if you're sneaky about it, see it reaches up to this tile here. Um, but more interestingly, they reach through pneumatic doors, even if the pneumatic door is closed. Which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if they reach through... No, they don't reach through mesh tiles, either. So we're going to have these sitting up here, and they reach three out from the end, so we can have that there. That'll be one there. Now, the thing about these is that they require someone who has the mechatronics engineering skill to run. Um, we're just going to stick that there for now, because I want to be able to lay everything out nice and neatly. Um, and this will service three coal generators, which will do us quite nicely for now. So that can reach to there. We're going to want uh, airflow tiles underneath it. Because these produce carbon dioxide. Um, they produce, yeah, carbon dioxide there. Um, let's just ladder up from there for now. Although I suppose that doesn't matter too much. Um... That's it. Um, now, what we will be researching is up here, up here, up here, these. Um, now, we need to get into material study to get everything that I want from this, but for now, we can just use basics, which is the loader, the rails themselves, a bridge, and the chute. And these act or have an interface very similar to storage bins, like, uh, where did I leave one? Right here, like this where we can choose what goes in there. Alright, um, I suppose I'll let them do a bit of building and all that sort of jazz um, and come back because I've got a bit of researching to do. I don't know what to do about this water either. Um, I might just ladder down here. And dig this out. Then we can put these here, like this, um, and this can actually be our polluted water pit. I like that idea. Alright, I'll be back in a little while, I suppose. Uh, well, I was going to go away and do a bit of a time-lapse, but we have a wee bit of a problem here. 
That's really bad. <laughs> um, so... Occasionally, you will be playing and you will come across a geyser that is not buried. Um, which does happen more often than you'd like it to. See, this one here is buried. But both this cool steam vent and this natural gas geyser are not. And they produce at 150 and 110 respectively. Now, because they don't start emitting until they are revealed um, under the fog here, um, it is still relatively cool up here, but like, eek. Uh, this one here, it will turn the steam into water and eventually it will flood itself and stop operating. Um, but it'll still emit a fair bit of heat in that meantime. And as for this one, well, we're gonna have to get in there and do something about it, I'm afraid. Um, just what is the question. Um, now, how does this sound? Let's quickly uh, print screen. Save that one. And we're going to zoom out a little bit here. Print screen and get that one. All right, I've got those two screenshots so I can do some planning, which I'm actually going to do right now. Sorry, the question remains, what do we do about these two up here? Um, well, uh, we can't do a lot, to be honest. Um, so for now, we're just going to pretend they're not there, and then we're going to wriggle our way up as quick as we can. Um, the best thing we could probably actually do for this is probably pop... Oh, we can't see that far up yet. Um, pop two insulated ti uh, two tiles there, just to stop it from... Like, uh, sorry, to make it fill up faster. Um, and in fact, that's probably a really good idea. Uh, now we do have those tiles that I wanted now. So we can do that. And that. And we want a ladder down to here. Um, as far as bedrooms go, probably just here is fine. Um, although we probably want to start... Do you really have nothing to do? How did you reach that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they've done it again. Who's trapped? Ran. Alright, what we actually really need to do here is set up a barbecue. An electric grill, sorry. So it can just go there for now, um, because I exist exclusively off quick fixes. But we're getting to see more and more of the map. I really hope this cools down soon. Um, nice, that's that research done. Alright, so let's go for that. What was it we were going to go for? This? No. There was something else in the meantime first. Poles? No. Ah, mechanized airlocks. Because we do have to do something about the hydrogen. So here's what we're going to do. That's where the edge of the base is. Like so. Um, we need to run... These things here are going to have heavy wire connecting them. Then we're going to have um, our hydrogen generators. We can have, what, three? Now these do not require uh, micromanagement. You know, they don't require... Well, sorry, they have hydrogen pumped into them. It makes it a lot easier. So, where exactly do we put them? Um, it's a mystery. That AND gate is also something we really need. But first, um, I suppose we're going to stuff as many batteries as possible in this little corner here. 
So we can then just have our uh, hydrogen generators just two there for now, like so, and call it a day. I think that's a good idea. Perhaps it'll look nicer, because I do endeavour to make things look nice. Yeah, like so. Dig that up. Dig that up. Dig all that up. Dig all that up. We're actually going to need this ladder to come up here. Like so. Alright, that's good. Um... Then, also what that means is we need to run that along there like this. Um, this will have to come down here. Whoops. Don't, don't be building stuff when... Oh my goodness. Just don't build stuff when it's saving, or about to save. It's a pain. Um, batteries down here, that's all good. Now, what we need to do is run... I suppose we don't need to do that, actually. Because all our power is just down here. Um, and then we can run our, uh, yes, okay, never mind. Um, so, you need, you need these, uh, transformers, right, to get power out of the main grid into your little wires, because you can hide your little wires under tiles and stuff. If I try and build this heavy watt wire, I can't build it where there's already i can only build it in open space i can't build it well i can build it there and they'll just dig it up but i can't build it here see it won't let me put one on the tile instead what you need to do is use heavy watt joint plates um and they replace tiles right um but if we have all our power generation and our storage down here that's fine all it means is that we need to run a hydrogen pipe who can't reach food really um we want a roast grub fruit nut we want a mush fry we want frost buns and we want barbecue all right everything's going well yes it is all right i'm gonna leave these guys run for a little while let them build this stuff up here um and then we'll be back. Oh, but first is the printable. The alternative is we take one of the other two. Plus eight in excavation and plus three. But I think the copper is the best port of call here. Alright, yeah, I'm going to let these guys go for a bit. They're going to build this up here. Uh, yeah, and I'll be back in a little bit.
so we've got a tiny bit of base infrastructure here um this is all going to get torn out and replaced of course but it's just to get us operating um as you can see i've decided we're going to have our water sieve down here because i think we can probably put our bathrooms have a whole living space under here sort of thing um but we'll figure that out um i've also got these tiles up in here ready to go because we're going to try and force all of this gas up as high as we can um but that's all for later for now it's idle not dormant um over here all this polluted water is from melting ice that's fine um but we've got our smart batteries now Whoop. nice that's our automation there we go um so the way these work if you've never used them before you click on the battery you get a high threshold and a low threshold and what this means is it will send a green signal which is basically turn on until it reaches the low threshold whereupon sorry i got that around the wrong way it's green when it's below the low threshold it's red when it's above the high threshold right um and it'll flip only when it crosses one of those two boundaries you can read the thing right there this here green means go red means stop nice and easy um it does get a little bit more complicated from there but we're just getting the basics of it sorted out for now so this needs a power consumer um which means it needs this all to here to be done like so um and we're going to put that on a fairly high priority like so um yeah that's pretty much it these will not run they will not request fuel nothing of the sort until uh once these two are full so basically it saves us coal they're not running 24 7. um now we also need to sort out our power um uh transformers so we're gonna have i suppose we can put them here what do we want two for now i think it's probably the smart way to go about it so we run the heavy wire through the top and then we run the thin wire through the bottom like so um and in fact yes we're going to leave it like that there we go that one can also be a high priority um yeah that's pretty much it let's sort out our base power so we're going to run this one across here like so this one's going to come this way like so that all looks pretty good to me now Ooh, how do we split this up it's hard to believe that there's you know oh the other thing i want to do is do the infinite gas storage for hydrogen up here um righto so we are gonna do a infinite gas storage for our hydrogen here which will mean that we can you know store an infinite amount of hydrogen gas <laughs> um that'll just stop it building up so that we can now go back to using these for you know oxygen production rather than wasting our algae down here so let's have a quick look into that shall we let's actually cancel that um actually no i probably should keep them deconstructing this um we can run the gas pipe up over this way and down the side here into there on the output right that's that now to do infinite gas storage uh the way i do it you need four mechanized airlocks your gas comes in here you need access to automation wire uh buffer gates 
and timer sensors. Um, I'm also currently researching automation ribbons down here, which will make this easier to, you know, produce. We're actually going to prioritize this. Um, and we want to get our automation wire sorted out. We have a printable, by the way. What do we have? Hmm. Alright. Welcome, Stinky. Guess what? My friend, you are going overseas, and you're going to be their cook. Run, little buddy. Off you go. And here he is, Stinky. That's your bed. Alright, he's off. I'll have to, actually, I should probably do it right now. Sort out their priorities. Stinky is our cook. Harold cannot cook, fair enough. Um, did we decide what May was doing? Does May have a hat? Yes, but she can't put it on because she doesn't have access to the thing. That's okay. Well, that's good news. That can go there. Uh-oh, see, now this is on, and uh-oh. That should be, hmm... Let's just snip that automation wire, that'll stop it, yes, because that's now red. If this isn't connected to something actively making it green, it will always be red. And we want a bottle emptier there, and we probably want one over here too to put off the normal water, but we can wait on that. Uh, we're also going to need to get power into this. Very good. Are you stuck? Oh, they are. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, building entombment? Oh yeah, I'll take that. Um, now let's just make sure this room is small enough. Uh-oh. Too large. 82 tiles. Um... Wait. 48. Hmm. Well, let's put that there. And really we need to take out four more tiles, because that's already in the corner. Something like that'll do. Uh, now, this planet actually comes with... Uh, oh, I've got a few things to talk about. Um, there is refined iron on this planet already. Ooh, another thing there. That's good to see. We get oil here. But in the oil biome, be very, very careful, everyone, for those of you who have never played before, um, there is this, frankly, quite gorgeous-looking plant. Um... You know how I said that most diseases are sort of nothing to worry about? Well, the Sporkid has zombie spores, um, which survives in a whole bunch of things. Methane actually isn't something in the game, but and you can kill it with chlorine. But, um, don't, don't let you... <laughs> Don't let you duplicate. Like, this is something you really, really need to be extra super duper careful about. Um, because zombie spores will kill your duplicates. Not only that, but it makes them infectious as well. Um, so just something to be wary of. Um, but yeah. Alright, back home here. Yes, now we can start hooking the power up. So now these are charging up. You can see the little, you know, thing. Alright, let's get those in. We can also do that. And we've got to split our power supply up. 
But let's get this done first, and then I'm actually gonna have to finish because I'm fairly sure I'm out of time. Uh oh. Let's just snip that for now. That'll stop. Okay. I want to sweep all of this stuff out of here. Um, and I want an automatic dispenser. That'll do for now. We'll just dump all our junk right here for now. Yeah, see our power wires busted up here. Um, okay, so. Automation for this. Do we have our... No, we don't. Um, why is that not getting done? Do we not have enough dirt? We have no dirt. Oh, well, will you look at that? That explains a lot. I'm like, why is this research taking so long? You'd think we would have had plenty of dirt. Alright. Back to the automation. We're gonna need... That there, we're going to run our automation wire over here, and we're going to run it up here. So then we're going to have... Uh, that's better. Two timer sensors, automation wire, and like that. Yes? Um, as for the buffer gates, they point the arrow in the direction that you want to send the signal. Does that make sense? Uh, now, what I'm researching, well that, yes, it'll give me readers as well. Oh my god, there's just so much water everywhere and I really don't know why. It's not like there's just ice sitting around on the floor. Someone will tell me, and be like, oh, you've done this. And I'll be like, ah, of course. I'm a moron, as usual. Um, but that's all good. I'm gonna have to play a bit of this off camera, I think, to get everything cleaned up. Or perhaps I can just do a... Alright, the last thing we need here is automation ribbon. So we can shift this out of the way. We want ribbon reader on the output. And ribbon writer on the input. You can click and drag, by the way. Uh, construction only, please. Um, that'll do for now. We'll put the last little bits of automation in once we've got all this built and this all cleaned up. Because... Otherwise we won't be able to get it going, you know? I think I can explain this whilst it's just laid out like this. So we've got our timer sensors. And they do exactly what they sound like they do. <laughs> um, you can change the amount of time that they will output a green signal and a red signal in seconds. Um, automation wire takes them into these buffer gates. Buffer gates will give a green signal if they're receiving a green signal, and then they will extend the length of time that the green signal is outputted for however long after they stop receiving a green signal. Um, in that way they're like repeaters in Minecraft, you know? Except they can go for as many seconds as you'd like them to. So this is what you really want repeaters to be like. <laughs> um, the ribbon writer writes that information onto the ribbon. And I'll show you how that works next time. But basically you can condense four lines worth of automation into one line. They're really handy. Um, ribbon readers take it off the ribbon into a single wire. And then this will control the doors. I'll show you what operating next episode I guess because I have most certainly run out of time so thank you everyone for being here I hope you've had a wonderful time we've got stuff all sorted out here just about let's get that done first um but yeah this is all really really good so next episode I think I might slow down a bit on the expansion on this base. We're going to consolidate what we've got, clean everything up a bit, maybe do a bit of digging, um, do a big old sweep um, and mop and everything, make sure everyone's happy. We're going to get uh, insulated tile in everywhere so that everyone's nice and warm. 
Um, and then we'll see where we're at from there. So hopefully that sounds good because that's what we're doing. Um, so yeah, take care everyone and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.